two of the big milestones that we really hit were hitting Tier 2, which was the single car overtaking competition. And the second milestone we were able to hit was beating our speed record. We went to almost one, uh, almost 160 miles per hour and we overtook at 130 miles per hour. It was really incredible. I mean, every time we successfully overtook uh, the other car, we were all cheer up. It was really, really impressive. And every time we successfully did that, uh, I got my goosebumps, I got my heartbeat increasing. It's really exciting to have all this working in such a short amount of time. At IMS, we currently did not have perception going and we did not do any overtaking. And so to be able to make that all work together with all the previous successes we had at IMS was just so exciting, incredible to see in just those couple months what we were able to do. I remember the first day we went to Vegas in December. We were struggling to get the car running because we were preparing the race line and we barely moved uh, like a couple miles for the first first few days. And then at 11 days, we do almost 400 miles. I think that's really a giant leap for us. Being able to work together with the team and problem solve and make our car better, that is something that would translate really well into the real world is the problem solving and teamwork that we get to do. Especially if I decide to go to the industry, those kind of hands-on experience on the real platform is really, really helpful. What I learned the most is during actually the the application part. Those are really hard and I faced a lot of challenge I never met before. That's awesome. This is like our first sponsor. We are very grateful with Gadik. They want to meet like the team, like meet the talent that are in the team and, and in exchange ideas because I know they have problems that might be similar to us and different scenarios, different control systems. The future of technology and innovation is alive, well, thriving, uh, being pushed forward really in Indiana. From the base that these cars are on with a, a Dallara chassis to the technology that's going into the car itself to the code that is being developed, that is a nexus of activity and innovation that's happening in Indiana, connected to Indiana, involving Indiana experts and innovators. I mean, really putting Indiana on a global stage when it comes to the fastest autonomous vehicles in the world. The official next race is not uh, really setting stone yet for us, but what we are we know is we are targeting for a road course, and we are also targeting to having the uh, passing capability during the road course. That brings us to like our challenge to the next level. A lot of excitement uh, because it is as far as. My knowledge goes, it is going to be our first time racing on a road course, um, which is very different dynamics wise, like vehicle dynamics wise, planning wise, everything that deals with the car, being on a road course is very different than an oval course. Indiana Purdue University. The Purdue is the team that was uh, the most improved over the last five, six months. I think they had a good showing at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, but they made a huge jump uh, improving their perception stack and getting to a point where they could actually compete in the passing competition and not just participate in it, but actually get up to uh, uh, a reasonably high speed given the, the weather conditions. This is just uh, the know. beginning. This is just, I think, like probably the beginning of this type of uh, niche project of autonomous racing. Maybe in 10 or 15 years, we will be like, do we have 10 cars, 20 cars on track? Is there like an actual racer driving with a robot race, racer? So I just see like the future is exciting.